In today's video, we're gonna cover my top three neighborhoods in Kent based on school ratings. Really, an airplane? So one of the neighborhoods we're gonna to cover today has an actual airport in it. And that looks like a plane that came from that airport. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready now. Do me a favor, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That's gonna notify you every time I do a new video. These are the three areas I would personally go with and I think they're worth looking at. If you wanna look at some other areas or consider some other cities, certainly reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, email me. With that said, let's just jump right into my top three neighborhoods. First thing I wanna tell you is these are not the most commuter friendly neighborhoods in Kent. These are strictly based on school ratings. There are definitely some other neighborhoods that are way more friendly for commuters, like the community Lakeside in the Valley and a few others. The first area we're gonna take a look at is around the Lake Young's Elementary School. And this one, I always have an issue saying, so forgive me if I say it wrong, Martin Sorton Elementary School. So while I talk about the schools in a neighborhood, let's get in, drive around a little bit. You guys can check out the houses while I give you some details. Let's start by taking a look at Seuss Creek Trail. This trail runs about six miles long and is just down the hill from Lake Young's, which also has a very nice gravel trail all the way around the lake. So both of these schools get a 7 out of 10 rating with an 8 out of 10 rating on testing. In English, these schools test at 73%, state average is 61. In math, these schools test out at 70%, state average is 50. The student to teacher ratio is 20 to 1. So basically what this is telling you is that this school is just going to prepare your child a little bit better than some of the other schools in the area. In this area, the median sale price is $527,500. Now, as we're driving, you can see there's gonna be some really nice houses. There's also gonna be some smaller Ramblers starting out at about that 350,000 range and up from there. In these neighborhoods, you're gonna find some new construction that's a little bit tighter. You're gonna find older, more established neighborhoods with a little bit bigger backyards. And you can also find either farmland or acreage if that's what you desire. As far as middle school is concerned, in all three areas, they test out about the same. So we're not gonna go into details on those. Just know that they test out average for Washington State. These elementary schools filter to the best high school in Kent, which is Kent Ridge High School. That school gets a seven out of 10 rating. I think one important stat here is that Kent Ridge High School is gonna give you an eight out of 10 for college readiness, which means this school is above the state average in key measures of college and career readiness. Graduation rate at Kent Ridge High School is 89%. The state average is 81%. Testing is nine out of 10, which is way above the state average. English testing comes out at 86%, math at 65. That's also well above average. Uh, student to teacher ratio is a little bit higher, but really not that bad. It's 22 to one. As far as buying a home in this area, it really stays pretty similar to everything around Lake Young's at $541,250. Just like all three of these neighborhoods, the part that I like about them the most is that you can truly find anything for anybody. You can get houses for that 350 to 400 range all the way up to multi-million dollar homes. These last two elementary schools are definitely not in a commuter's dream area, but they are a very, very, 
very good place to live. The next school we're gonna take a look at, which is where I'm actually filming, is Grass Lake Elementary School. Grass Lake has a rating of seven out of 10, which is on par with the best here in Kent. Testing is the highest in Kent, which is a nine out of 10, far above the state average. English, they test out at 78%, the state average is 50, and math, they test out at 78% as well, and the state average is 61. Student to teacher ratio is great, it's below the state average at 17 to one. The median home sale price here is $614,000. So you're moving a little bit up in that budget, but I will tell you right now, there's plenty houses much below that, and there's definitely plenty houses above that. The beauty of it is that you just need to call me. We need to sit down, figure out your needs and your wants, and I can guarantee you we can find you a home in any of these areas. Grass Lake Elementary continues on to Cedar Heights Middle School. Cedar Heights Middle School is testing pretty much average for Kent. And again, pretty much every middle school in Kent is gonna get the same rating across the board. There are some worse and some better ones, but I would say none of them are above average. As far as the high school is concerned, Grass Lake goes into Kent Lake High School. And the final school we're gonna take a look at is Sawyer Woods Elementary. Sawyer Woods is very similar to Grass Lake. They got a seven out of 10 rating and nine out of 10 on testing. So again, your kids are gonna be far more prepared in these schools than some of the other schools around the area. Just like Grass Lake Elementary, Sawyer Wood test scores are far above the state average. This suggests that the kids there perform at or well above grade level. Both English and math are well above the state average and you've got a 20 to one teacher ratio. Median sale price for this area is $495,000. So your purchase point is a little bit lower, which really just suggests that you've got a little bit wider range of home availability. Sawyer Woods Elementary also filters into Kent Lake High School. Kent Lake High School gets a lower overall rating of four out of 10. However, the parents in the area tend to say that the school is wonderful and they love the teachers. Testing is gonna fall right around the average for Washington State. Student to teacher ratio is 22 to one, so slightly higher than Washington State's average. And the median sale price in the Kent Lake High School area is 614,975. Just to kind of finish up, I think the major thing here is every single city around here has some great schools. So the most important thing is to determine your needs and wants, what's important to you. Do you have to commute or do you not have to commute? If you need to be close to work, we can certainly find a neighborhood and a school close to your area that's gonna fit all your needs and that you're gonna be happy with. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.